Uh, yeah, but it's uh, <laughs> me, it's, it's off air. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. So, so, hello, everyone. I hope actually make sure that everyone can understand. If not, just please move closer. Um, yeah. We can have more, more discussion. Um, so, so, this session will be about, about a media wiki entity. Um, the title of the session is about the Media Media Consortium. Um, the aim of this overall session is to um, share the ideas on how we could uh, improve the support uh, for media that you third party users. So that is all the people that are using media from the Harbor that are not using the media sites, they, they are downloading it and installing it. And we see that um, there's quite some need uh, for like those groups to be supported more in the whole of the ecosystem media. Um, I'm Mark Staza. I'm part of the um, the youth team of Media Wiki together with Mark Hirschberger, um, who's also here and he's um, taking notes and paying careful attention to everything you say. Um, and um, yeah, let's start. So what's the rough outline? Here are a few questions I want to answer. Let's switch as well. I have a phone between Media Wiki and can you um, turn off first your microphone First of all, the question is why do we actually need uh, an entity? Why do we need this effort for uh, third party Media Wikis? What's it good for? What's the goal of this? Um, obviously, of course, who can be part of this? How close? How open is this? Can anyone participate who should? Um, if so, if you're interested, what can you do? What are actual first tasks? How can we start this? How can we get this going? Uh, of course, we have to ask ourselves the question, will it be worth the effort? Do we have a realistic chance of getting things done? Do we have an implementation um, a, a opportunity for things we want to do? Um, obviously, I, I would not be standing here if I would think that we do not have a chance. So um, uh, the, it will be worth the effort. That's so much I can give away. Um, and, of course, also the question, what is the timeline? What would be next steps in order to create such a group, in order to um, set up such a uh, kind of organization? Um, what I want to do is I have prepared a, a few slides. Um, if you've got any questions, just feel free to ask any time um, if it's about understanding. And then uh, at the end of the talk, um, we'll probably have some time to do a discussion whether you think the ideas itself are good or not. Okay. So, um, what's the need? Why do we, why do we, why do we actually feel we need um, a separate entity for um, the concerns of third-party users? Um, well, I've put an, an image there of a unicycle. So, a unicycle is really a cool thing. It's it's people that are riding a unicycle. They look cool and um, on the same side, it requires a lot of skill to ride a unicycle, and it requires special setup you have to be trained for. And that is essentially the state we're in now with MediaWiki. If we want to use MediaWiki in a way that uh, that is run on the Wikimedia sites like Wikipedia, you need a lot of skills to set up all the um, additional services and, and the server and make it scalable and all these things. Um, on the other hand, we have the tarball. And the tarball, you can just download and you can install it, but then you get only half of what's run on MediaWiki sites. So you need the skills. Um, and the idea is to make it out of that unicycle, essentially make it easier for everyone to just um, use MediaWiki on a good level and on a um, reasonable level. OK, I can see my sound is working, actually. Um, so if you cannot hear me, you could also use the live stream and put up the volume, and then you can. <laughs> so embarrassed. <laughs> OK, so um, now, where are we? The, um, the foundation, who is essentially the developer of MediaWiki, uh, or the main stakeholder, the main driving force behind MediaWiki, um, is, of course, 
um, a main stakeholder in this. But the foundation's main task is to run Wikimedia sites. So it is completely understandable that it's not within their inner scope to care for all the third party users and to provide MediaWiki to all the others on the same level of support as they do um, for running their sites. And that is especially true with the new tendency to narrow down focus. Um, and um, the foundation uh, will, I assume, more and more focus on media, uh, Wikimedia sites like Wikipedia and on just operating those services and improving those. Um, and it will become decreasingly interested in the third party use of um, what's happening. So MediaWiki as a product um, is, is not really uh, within their focus. On the other hand, um, I feel very much that MediaWiki is worth the effort of giving it away to all the people because that is essentially for knowledge sharing and that is within the scope of our mission and also um, the Wikimedia sites um, to have a, a very high visibility and people want to use the same mechanisms or similar mechanisms for their own sites to, um, to work with MediaWiki. So um, it would be a real pity if there would be like a big diverge between things that run on Wikipedia and the things you can actually use. What is that really annoying? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Pardon? It's a fuse on one of those um, ah. things, I, I assume. I don't know. So in, in case you can't hear it, there's a really annoying tick here, um, which is like, yeah. It's like a countdown uh, to something. Maybe countdown to the start of the user group. I don't know. Um, <laughs> well, I, I tried fixing that, but. Okay. Um, let me just continue. Um, so what we see is that third-party users also have uh, quite a set of different diverging needs from the um, from the Wikimedia sites. Um, one that is really obvious is they need an installer. They need means to set up their MediaWiki. The other is that configuration in MediaWiki is not really easy. There's skinning. There is all sorts of customizing. There's integration. So there's a huge set of things, um, of technological things, um, that um, a third-party MediaWiki user would need that are not really needed um, uh, within the scope of, Wiki, of Wikipedia, for example. Um, and thus, they are really developed um, that effort. And also, third parties, of course, do have a lot of different use cases. We have small wikis. We have wikis in schools that are just set up for testing reasons. Um, we have very specialized wikis that have a localization and additional extensions and adoption and all that. Um, we have single server instances uh, where you cannot set up like a whole um, uh, server farm. We have wiki farms. So there is a, a, a um, a lot of use cases out there that are not covered by the case um, of uh, Wikimedia sites. And um, I'm sorry about this confusion. You know, it's one of the trademark things that are really interesting is that we have MediaWiki and we have Wikimedia and we have Wikipedia. So um, you have to pay careful attention. And I try to make it as clear as possible that when I talk about MediaWiki, it's more the hardware kind of thing. When I talk about Wikimedia sites, it's Wikipedia. It's Course, Wikipedia and, and all these sites that are run by the Wikimedia Foundation. Okay, so what could be a possible scope of um, an organization that um, fosters the needs of third party users? Uh, well, first of all, I think it's, um, of course, we need to exchange ideas, um, experiences, and resources. So, what we can see is that there are a lot of similar efforts. We have a lot of extensions that duplicate each other's functionality. And um, this is done by volunteers. And this is also done by professional people running media wiki sites. So we have a couple of efforts, um, money-wise and volunteer time-wise, that do the same thing, essentially, in the end. So um, a bit of coordination would do good here to join forces. Um, and the individual features even smaller. Also, um, we, in our work in the release team, we found that um, 
the core development, as it focuses on um, Wikimedia sites, um, doesn't really look care so much about whether they break extensions that are not used on Wikimedia sites. So recently we had um, this issue where a, a change introduced to the core actually broke some media wiki, um, which is um, not really good in the outside world because they're using so much media. You were that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but we managed to fix it. And that was one of the first use cases, showcases, where you could see that um, the efforts of a, an external entity that watches these things and start communication channel between like the third party users and the core developers um, do actually good things because I mean you cannot really expect from um, from the W check every extension that's out there what uh, and they introduce a project of that flow such a user group. Um, so this would be like an advocate. So we would advocate third party needs in different respects. Um, different directions to the foundation or like uh, the way around. Use people that are using media key and think about the changes the course needs to implement in the kitchen and then maybe is this valuable for you and, and start discussion about this. In the long I also think that this group of this that are interested in what you do position to and features that are widely um, requested in the media wiki world. And as I mentioned a few, um, I mean, those ideas are floating. And they have been floating for like five years, I guess, like a proper configuration system. But nobody has actually taken the effort to, to implement this. And I think um, that would be in the scope of the group to actually see to it that these features will be um, implemented at some point. And that essentially the idea is to bring all the stakeholders together um, and get a common ground of communication and discussion. So that's true. That's true. But um, things are finally happening. Happening. That's great. Yeah. You, you, you deserve all the credit. Yeah. Things are right again. Yeah. Okay. So don't snicker. Just say he's wrong, and then we get a productive atmosphere. Otherwise, things get very Um. And and I mean that's even better if there are people working on that. So um. Yeah. Let's let's leave it at that. Um. So potential stakeholder, probably the stakeholder. Um, but we have also powerful users, small, uh, small scale users. We have companies or other large scale users that um, use this on a professional basis. That would also hold true for other NGOs that have, like Mozilla, that have big media wiki installations out there. Um, we have developers that build extensions and shape media wiki to their needs. They are stakeholders. And we have technology providers. I don't think the list is complete. This is just to give you an idea of the range of people we are thinking about. Um, we have technology providers, like cloud providers, like technology database providers. Um, from my own experience, I know that there is an interest of Microsoft that MediaWiki would run on Windows Azure environments. Um, so these are stakeholders that could add to this group in a way. Um, different operating systems that are supported and all these kinds of things. Um, how do we louder? Okay, I'm, I'm trying my very best. So, um, how do we find out about um, these stakeholders? Oh, that is the one that is incomplete. Um, I have to listen because I know what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> okay, the environmental scan. That is one of the first things we want to do um, in order to um, to get a better picture of what we need to do, um, understand the overall situation. Um, I mean, it's good that we can guess what our stakeholders would need and would want, but it's better to ask them actually and to see if that is if we actually. Um, 
So um, a step process. Um, first of all, we want to do a few interviews with se selected people of each of those identified stakeholder groups um, and ask them about their overall picture and needs um, and also their willingness, of course, uh, to contribute to such an organization because um, we need an organization where like, a lot of people help us. Um, if it turns out that there is a basic willingness, then um, it obviously makes sense to do this. Um, and then we want to add numbers to this. So there will be a survey um, a bit later based on what on the findings of those interviews uh, where to substantiate things with actual numbers and see what's like the best rank, uh, ranked extension or feature need we have. What is the, I don't know, the average amount of money people would like to donate, volunteer hours they could contribute, and kinds of things. Um, so we get a better idea of where we could be heading at um, in the end. Um, the longer-term tasks of the organization, as seen, in, this is also not a complete list. So this is like for discussion. Um, I guess that one of the things I've already heard is documentation needs a lot of improvement. I know there are a lot of documentation efforts, but it's still. Uh, uh, um, uh, where, uh, that is not really a techie um, can make a lot out of these ex um, this documentation. That's uh, true for various things like the extensions. Um, I mean, the the level of documentation for extensions varies quite a lot, and um, even extensions that are widely used are sometimes documented poorly. The other way around, it also is true. We have extensions that are not used so much, but they're great as a role model. Um, so this is one of the things uh, we need to actually um, start with. And I think this is one of the more easy things to implement um, if we want to, to, to do actual benefit to the um, community. Um, the other thing is the coordination between individual efforts. And I've already talked about that. Um, they um, bring people together that have, like, that are about to do similar things, like, yeah, together. I guess you do that at the foundation. And that holds true for things like, um, um, and of course, if we want to do actual development, we need resources. Um, if that would be a reliable, development, we would probably at some point need paid developers or be able to, to contract people at least. Um, uh, we, um, in the first place, I think we should aim for people that are interested in like extension that are dedicated to this and would work on actually making things happen. Okay. Um, so why is it worth the effort? Um, I think there is a good indication that we will have impact um, on MediaWiki if we create such a group. Um, I assume that uh, it's possible to have a say in the roadmap, and not in the way that we define the roadmap, but that we comment and we point out like dangerous bits and pieces for third-party users. Um, and maybe it's, it's uh, in that way it's possible to avoid breaking changes that disrupt a lot of like outside MediaWiki instances um, and, um, yeah, uh, it, it, it make it a smoother transition uh, even in the outside world. Um, when we aim for own resources, that obviously gives us the um, ability to have impact on the way MediaWiki users can, um, can use um, MediaWiki, so that is like a circle. Um, and um, I think it is essentially a bridge between the the vast scope landscape of media wiki users out there and the devs um, and the developers. So that also um, I think is is good for the developers uh, because it gives them an additional sense of how important their work is because they see how many people are using it is and how important it is for other groups. So um, I think there is a good chance on various sides of this group to have impact and to actually um, be on a part of something that's um, that's actually shaping MediaWiki. 
Okay. Um, while thinking about this, we've been Mike and I. We've been thinking about this idea uh, for a long time, and I mean, there's the first ones to think about the MediaWiki user group. There was all kinds of things like um, MediaWiki Foundation, and um, we had the title of this is actually Media. So that was when I submitted this talk, um, and you can actually see that our thoughts evolved over time. Um, so one of the questions we have been dealing with is what could be done for such a group? How could we um, how could we shape this? Um, I mean, first of all, the question is: Could this be a U.S.-based um, in tune? Um, I'm I don't have a final like opinion on this, but uh, obviously it must be um, new. Um, the uh, foundation in a way and, and basis in a similar structure. Um, so we have a few, um, a, a few um, options for nonprofit organization. That is the 501, C3, and C6. Um, I'm not totally into the details of US uh, NGO. Uh, um, means a lot to do, um, and um, I have to admit that at some point we were on the point of really starting this process of setting up a nonprofit um, 501c3, but we then decided not to do because that is such a huge amount of organization and paperwork that we decided to step back and see if there's actually the need for it, and if we actually like talk to you, that's what we do here, um, and see what you think about these things. Uh, and how we could proceed. Um, another idea was to have just a consortium of multiple stakeholders, so we could get, um, I don't know, Mozilla in there, and Microsoft, and the foundation, and a few smaller um, uh, stakeholders, and they would put in money, and um, that would then um, be used to uh, actually do all the things we want. Um, there's pros and cons. One of the cons is that um, you need to convince organizations to actually make for a long time. Uh, so this would make it harder for uh, organizations to just join in or just, you know, um, spend their resources. Um, so that is why this idea is, has its pros and cons. Um, so in the more commercial sector, there are various versions. The obvious is the LLC, which is um, a, a for-profit organization, um, and um, this is, as it might seem unusual to for-profit, this would have some benefits. For example, if you want to provide services like hosting services, which is also something that's been floating around, um, then it would be hard to do in a non-profit organization. So um, the idea is to first define what we want to do and then see what is a good um, form of organization. And there's also this interesting idea of the um, B Corporation, um, which is basically a certified for-profit, but it's certified in a way that it is in, um, for, the, pardon? What's public the, benefit. for the public benefit. Yeah, exactly. So this is also a thing we've been looking at and um, which could be interesting. Um, I've talked a lot about fines, so what is to give you an attention sources of money. Um, and I think we all agree that in order to get some impact and, and to do these things I sketched out, we will be Okay, good. Um, um, it could also be part of the um, SSC as a cost social responsibility kind of thing. Um, that again would depend on the nonprofit level of, of such a day. Um, foundation does run a few grant programs, but there are others out there um, that could be um, that we could apply for uh, and ask for grants to do certain things. If this becomes a membership-based organization, that would be some kind of gold or extra sponsor membership version where people would 
or organizations would donate more. And as I said, one of the ideas could also be services. So a hosting service, for example, is free for small keys, but if you um, if you use some kind of traffic, then um, you'd need to have to pay some money. So that would be um, a few ideas. And I'm sure there are other sources of funding. So when it comes to money, people get really inventive, and I think we can become inventive as well. So one thing that has been an issue on the mailing list, so this is why I want to talk about this, is the inclusion question. So. Um, of course, there is already a media wiki community, and there is already efforts for the outside, uh, for, uh, from people, e even from the foundation, to um, consider the, the needs of um, third parties. So um, I don't think this is, like, in my view of this, this will not be a separate organization that creates a separate community that talks separately and then makes separate decisions, but it will be integrated. It will be like floating on and off, it will be part of um, the, um, the community. So that um, includes that MediaWiki.org will should probably remain the main source of documentation and the source where you can get the extensions from. Um, and um, this also includes the means of communication. So we could use MediaWiki L um, for communicating with the users, we could use the mailing list, we could use the chat room. So it's not a secret, like, cabal thing. We step back and we do stuff, but we want to do it. Pardon? <laughs> so you're out now? <laughs> we can do that. See, Brian, we can always do the inner circle. Like <laughs> OK. Um, yeah, so one of the ideas is to call this a wiki co-op corporation. Um, so this is my favorite uh, image on the slides. What would be tasks that like you do? Um, uh, um, oh, yeah, uh, in, sorry, 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 I've given away everything, in the form. So um, I forgot the main thing. Um, the, the conclusion of not knowing what is a good form for us was to start on, like, start easily. Um, and what we want to do is we want to create a user group. That is within the organizational structures of uh, media stations. The group. So what is a user group? A user group is essentially a group of more than three people, or three or more people, that want to do something that is not on Wikipedia sites. Um, and all we need to do is we need to find three or more people to sign up on a page and then um, send this page to the affiliations committee. And then, hopefully, they will approve it at some point. So there is no need for institutional institu institutionalization. There is no need for um, a legal organization. Um, but this could be used, can be used as a build-up. So we can, um, we can start shaping our internal structures. And we can start um, defining the needs. We can get together and, and, and communicate about these things. Um, and then uh, once we know what the form of this will be, then we can decide on a step um, in the um, organizations where this would be like a thematic organization or thing like that. That needs to have an organization behind it. Um, uh, but that would be like uh, one thing I Yeah, and and it it's right. Yeah, um, and that matches the like the so it has um that could be like the legal state of this. Um, the main drawback about not incorporating is the money question. So um. Uh, we need to, to see how 
if we would need money in the, like the first half year, how we could process this or how we could do this. Um, we've talked to the foundation; they are willing to um, act as a, like a by parts. Uh, if you find someone money, you could have them or. Uh, We have uh, the is this, uh, this is just to see how we can uh, bootstrap this organization and how we can cope for all the different things. Oh, so this is just to give you an idea of what we what you could do, what we could do in the first place. Um, you've probably seen that. The scope of this is rather big, so there's a, a whole lot of things to do. One of the ways can we all Uh, set purpose, but um, one of the tasks I want to have done in these meetings is to comment on the develop to, to scan the development roadmap and to actually third party perspective and uh, to actually um, see yeah comment on that and then um, commit that, um, to the foundation um, and communicating back to the foundation. Um, as I said, could also be the foundation is part of this group and and um, is has its observers or its people in the committee. So, as I said in the inclusion slide, this could be like an integrated thing. Um, we could monitor for breaking changes. I mean, breaking changes in development are usually marked um, in uh, uh, announced uh, in some places. Question is. Does this information really reach the extension developers? And how can we get um, in the first place one changes and see um, and then once we have them see that reach the extension developers? Um, so also um, or at least a list of things that we think needs to be implemented. And once we have identified those, we need to um, assess whether it's realistic. Um, so if we say, OK, um, the outside world really uh, favors Java over PHP, um, that will not be an option at the moment, I guess, um, to just you know transfer media wiki to Java. Um, but if they say, OK, what we, what, um, what we need is a wiki farming tool, I think that's within a scope of doable things. Um, so, or most of it will probably be um, on a smaller, a smaller scale. Um, so that is one of the things we um, we want to work on in the first place. And the last thing is to identify implementation power. So we have this all these big ideas. Um, what we want to do with third party uh, for third parties. But the question is actually who does it? Who can do it? Um, and it's not only about identifying volunteers. It's also about identifying um, developers that are willing to do it for money, but that are capable of doing it. Because I mean, it's not, not um, as you all know, it's not very easy to actually bring changes into the core from the outside. Um, and I assume it should not be easy, because we need a stable software. But on the other hand, we also um, need people that are able to assess whether things are possible and whether can actually aim for the change, we should look for another solution. So um, we need to identify the implementation power of this. Um, what's the timeline? Pardon? Um, OK, uh, I have two more slides. Um, so what's the timeline? Um, uh, I think I talked about this. We um, want to do 
So I will M in the third table. We will start the application for becoming a user group today. Um, there's back and I'm happy to start. Uh, Mozilla, and they would really like to see a roadmap. I know we've been talking about config forever, you know, but there's no date for when will config be implemented. So, you know, maybe we can start putting some resources behind that and developing a roadmap and say, and to have, you know, configuration by this date in this release. Um, and, and I really hope it would encourage people like Chad to see. This, you know, I, I, I sound it like Chad. It would be good to you just know about it as well, you know, because we, we have ideas of what we want. Mozilla has ideas of what they want. So, you know. Okay. They're like RFCs on me. I understand. I on the top of it. Sure. And then we need to get involved in that. So, yeah. Nope. So that, like, this is one of the things I think this user group needs to monitor and comment on. That is where the discussion takes place. Um, and, uh, one question, is there anyone in the room who would like to join the user great so see you all the latest in two hours <laughs> any any other questions so that means either um, I answered everything um, or um, which would prefer that we continue the discussion um, this afternoon when it comes to the details and very much